For years, teachers and administrators on both the high school and community college level have been working tirelessly to help prepare students for college. However, these efforts are often independent rather than collaborative. With funding support through the Office of the Secretary of Higher Education, high school and community college partnerships have been developed and strengthened. As a result of these efforts, more students are becoming college ready prior to starting college, eliminating or reducing the need for developmental or remedial courses. According to a national report, 75% of incoming students attending two-year colleges nationwide needed remedial coursework. While these courses offer students the opportunity to build skills not previously mastered, students often get frustrated by how much time it takes to complete this coursework and how much longer it then takes to earn a degree. In addition, it can be expensive for students to take remedial courses. Because of these reasons, many students opt out of college before earning a degree. What the data clearly shows is a noticeable gap between high schools and colleges. College readiness now is designed to bridge the gap by enabling high schools and colleges to work more closely together, helping teachers and students better understand the expectations of college courses, and providing the opportunity for innovative and collaborative programming efforts. In high school, I wish like that they had taught us more about college, so then we are well prepared when we come to college. My teachers were wonderful in high school. They truly cared a lot about their students, and I noticed that they really wanted to help me. But my problem is that my learning pace was not the same as my classroom learning pace. I found myself slowly falling behind because of the stress of high school. High school did not prepare me for college because I was not interested in studying or learning when I was in high school. I understood that my struggle was math, but I didn't really focus as intensely as I should have before coming into college. My friends who did not take the honors course with me they do struggle and they do tell me how hard it is it is for them to keep up and maybe even like get good grades on their essays in college because they lack like the like the fundamental type of like strategies that they should have been using in the practice of it. I thought I came to college completely prepared. This was not going to be like a struggle for me. But when I actually sat there and started looking at the lessons that were about to be completed, I was scared. I soon realized like when I came here um, everything that they taught me, I, I knew, but I didn't know. So it's very important for students coming into college knowing everything that they learn from high school. Uh, the basics, you know, of course, the foundational stuff. The best way to begin building a bridge across the educational gap is to reinforce its most important foundations, writing, reading, and mathematics skills. The goal of this structure is simple to bypass remediation entirely and send students directly into core credit-earning courses, saving both time and money. As you know, successful incoming students will need to demonstrate concise, coherent, structured, and grammatically correct writing skills. Critical thinking and information literacy skills are also essential. First-year students should also be able to get reading done efficiently as the amount of reading required significantly increases in college. Comprehending what they read is also critical. When high school teachers assist students with learning effective reading strategies, such as the SQ3R approach, survey, question, read, recite, review, this will help students have a higher self-efficacy for reading when they enter college. Encouraging or requiring students to annotate or summarize what they read in their own words will also help students develop critical skills for college. First-year students should have taken Algebra 1, Algebra 2, Geometry, and Trigonometry in high school. They must also demonstrate proficiency with computational skills, representing and interpreting quantities with symbols, and mathematical graphs and tables. One of the best ways to avoid developmental courses upon entering college is to take many math classes in high school. Students need to master oral and written communication skills, time management, strong perseverance and motivation in order for, to help them get through their classes. Many of our students come to us in the developmental English department reading at a sixth and seventh grade level. They do not know how to think critically and think outside the box. In addition, their writing skills are weak. They don't know how to focus their ideas and organize the ideas to effectively write well. So a common homework assignment that I would give is that you need to read an article or a section from the textbook and then you need to log onto Blackboard into a discussion forum and post questions and responses and respond and interact with your peers. So the skills that they would need then is that they need to be able to read comprehend, summarize, evaluate and respond to whatever I have assigned. And again, the writing too, they need to respond cohesively in writing so that people understand both what they're posting and what they're saying to others. 
With respect to math, students need to be able to perform multi-step equations and problems in a timely manner, along with not having to rely on a calculator when it comes to information like that. It surrounds us every day. Math is used all the time, and certainly we need to know the importance of it and stress that to the students coming to college. I really value the time that I spent, you know, the time outside of class, because students come in to ask questions, and when students actually understand the concept, you know, this is where my, um, uh, inwardly, I, I get really excited for them. High school teachers really need to know that college is a whole other experience. It's going to be tougher, so they need to sort of mirror that a little bit. Not as, not as intensely, but intensely enough to where you, you get an idea of what it's going to be like, and when you get to college, it won't be such a cultural shock to you that all of a sudden, all this work's flying in my face. It's scary sometimes. It's really intimidating. As you may know, college readiness is determined by the AccuPlacer, a placement test. Unfortunately, students often take the placement test without preparation. High schools can help students understand the importance of preparing well for this test. I did not know about the AccuPlacer because I was not told about the AccuPlacer in high school. I took the AccuPlacer and I was like, what is this? Like, I did not know anything. There were different problems on there, different math questions, college math, and I didn't pass. I did take the AccuPlacer for math, and I struggled a little bit with it. I, it was really hard, and I missed it by one question. They told me to take it again because it was only one question I missed, but I, I knew since I couldn't even pass that, I was going to struggle in college, so I decided to retake the math course in order to improve that. So uh, a couple of years ago, our college took the initiative to um, create a practice uh, AccuPlacer test on the website which allows students to go there to review skills such as arithmetic, algebra, reading and writing skills. And when it comes to the AccuPlacers there's even just looking over any material that you had done in your high school level to make sure that you are up to date and on top of the material that you need to know for any of the AccuPlacers. It's clear that college readiness now is more important than ever. Collaboration between high schools and community colleges can boost college readiness and increase likelihood of successful outcomes for students. Learning about what types of programs work best can guide our future practices. But we're always learning as educators. There's always something new that we can try. There's always something that we can do better. Seeing your students as the individual human beings that they are, because everybody is so different, which means that we learn differently. So we have to create a classroom environment that's gonna reach every single learner. And we are actively engaging with much smaller class sizes, differentiated instruction, a lot of small group work, a whole bunch of varied assessments. I think starting that at the high school level is a really good idea. And maybe having the college professors go into the schools and, and work with the teachers to help get the students college ready, help them master the skills that these students need before they take the AccuPlacer exam. I think it's incredibly important for college teachers and high school teachers to connect because it really helps increase the student's experience. It makes it a lot easier in helping students prepare for college and upper level education. I am saving so much money now going to the school and I'm getting the same level of education as I would at many other places that my friends are going. I feel great because I can go home and see my family at the end of the night and I can still come see my friends during the day. The classes are just as academically inclined as other schools are. The teachers are just as involved and just as innovative. The only difference is that it's affordable, it's more convenient, and you feel more at home. Through community college and high school partnerships, we can help all students become college ready, paving the way towards a successful college experience.